Hello War Thunder Pilots, Ntech here, and today we're going to be discussing some of the new and awesome features in our 1.37 update. One of the main changes is the reworking of the progression system. The number of ranks have been changed to 5 and will be based on actual periods in unit development. In order to get access to the new units, a player will need to research the previous unit in the branch of a particular nation while meeting several simple requirements. The player is required to unlock the rank the chosen unit belongs to and the unit itself will need to be researched and purchased. Along with the progression system come some significant changes to matchmaking. For more details about all the changes to the progression system and to matchmaking, please check out the latest developer diary. In 1.37 we also see the addition of multiple new aircraft. This is the I-185, a new Russian mid-ranked fighter. Make sure to check your 6 for the new heavily armed LA-9 fighter. The Vakawolf 190D9 is a new premium fighter for the Russian line. The German line is also getting some new aircraft, some of which are the popular predecessors to the F-4. This is the new BF-109 F-1. This is the new BF-109 F-2. Both should be great additions. The new HS-129 B-3 attacker is equipped with a massive 75mm cannon being rightfully nicknamed as the Tank Cracker. The British line is also getting some new planes. One of which is the heavily armed Tempest Mark V, which is equipped with two 47mm cannons and it is sure to be a fearsome ground attack aircraft. This is the new P-400 fighter, an Aerocobra variant made for the RAF, which is one of the new planes that will be added to the American line. The Japanese line is also getting many new aircraft. Among those exciting new planes are several modifications of the Ki-84 heavily armed fighter. For the full list of planes being added in 1.37, please check out the patch notes. Also in 1.37 we see new render support for DirectX 11. This should provide for improved graphical detail across all settings as well as provide up to a 25% performance increase for some video cards. In 1.37 custom battles will now be hosted on the War Thunder servers instead of the client's computer. This will provide for comfortable and stable connection for all custom battles. Along with this change we also see the ability to host custom battles that can contain up to 32 players. The mission editor is now a part of the test flight mode. You are now able to try out your newly acquired unit in a fully customizable environment. You are able to choose the battle scenario, the weather, and both the number and skill level of the enemies. In 1.37 we also see 8 new maps for different game modes. This is Foggy Albion, a ground strike map featuring ground units fighting in close proximity to one another which should make for some interesting close quarter combat. Desert Coast is a new coastal map featuring large mountainous peaks, tropical areas, and open desert areas with all sorts of ground strike opportunities. Iron Range is a beautiful map featuring snow covered mountains with deep valleys cutting throughout the map. Existing maps and game modes have been rebalanced in favor of attack and bomber aircraft in several ways. Bombing points have been added for all ground strike missions. Destroying such areas will reduce the enemy team's victory points by 10%. Also, several operation maps have been rebalanced. Operation Kuban, Ruhr, Ardennes, and Berlin have been changed to increase the impact of ground attack actions through several changes, including the addition of strategic bombing areas. In 1.37, many flight models and damage models of many aircrafts have been brought in line with the historical data. For the full list of various changes, please check out the patch notes. In 1.37, there have also been changes to the interface. Some of those changes include the renaming of game modes. Historical battles have been renamed to realistic battles because we didn't want players to confuse them with the historically accurate events. Also, full real battles have been renamed to simulator battles. For the full list of changes and added features, please check out the official War Thunder website. Don't forget to subscribe to our official YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. We hope you enjoy Update 1.37. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the skies.